So welcome back. So now let's have a look at some of the other helpers that I really feel are very important for us to understand. Uh, the first one is a label val uh, HTML helper. So let's go into Tutorials Teacher and have a look at that one because I really feel Tutorials Teacher will give you a great overview of using these. So I'm just going to give you a few ones and then you can go and find your own afterwards. And I want to go into the Tutorials Teacher site and I want to find HTML helpers under the MVC part here. Um, so HTML helpers and below that one there's one called label and that's the one we want to work with right now and the label one is fairly simple. Um, let's scroll down here. So a label one you'll just do add HTML dot label and then a student name and that will actually result in this HTML right here. That's how simple it is. It result in putting in a for keyword. Now the for keyword is kind of for us to bind it with a text box later on. Let me show you this right away why we have the for attribute in here. Um, if I go into my code, when I put the for attribute in, this label right here will be bound together with this editor, meaning that if I click the label, it'll actually select the text box right here. So you don't have to anymore click specifically in the text box. You can also just click the label and some JavaScript or something. Make sure that you actually have selected that text box just by clicking the label, right? So let me show you this in the running code if I can. Um, in here I can click the name and you'll actually see this start blinking because they are bound together using the for attribute. So that's what that is all about. So actually this line right here actually converts into this guy right here in the simplest manner in the old HTML help us set up. Now, if we are more into using Lambda expression, you can go down and use the label 4, which is an extended version that can only be used when we have model binding. So remember that you cannot use the label 4 unless you have some kind of model attached. And in this case, it says add a label for the student name right here. And then if you look at this, it'll just write for student name and then it'll put in name. Why does it put in name? Why not student name? Well, that's actually because if you look at the top here where they show the code, they have made a data annotation saying when you display this guy, display it as name instead of student name, right? And that's why it's actually shown in the HTML as name here instead of student name. But the for keyword is still the same as the actual property name. Okay, so that was the for uh, label and the label for how that was all working. Next, let's have a look at the editor and how they work together.